Yeah, so what do you think went right there in the third quarter? <laughs> well, we got to plan a little bit. Um, obviously, Freddie had a pretty good quarter. He had seven deflections <laughs> in the quarter. So jump started. I think we just we came out. I thought the biggest thing was he did is he came out and started picking those guys up full court. We made a couple adjustments defensively too. Helped us. You seen some pretty special bursts like that from a bunch of players. I mean, how high? I mean, don't expect you to rank them all right yeah. now, but that's their place. No, that was a, that was an incredible one all, all the way through the quarter, all the way leading up to that race up three at the end. You know, it was almost like it was not. You know, almost you couldn't believe that went in as well. But uh, yeah, it was a. Spirited effort by him to lead us, you know, with the ball in his hands and, and defensively at the same time. You mentioned what he did defensively, um, which is more impressive to you. You know he can score, you know he's great defensively. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's, yeah he, it's, it's hard to score like that, that's for sure, right? And especially to string him up like that. Um, so for sure, the offensive part was really, really special tonight. And the rebounding for a guy that's, you know, Smallest guy on the court. It's pretty impressive to pull down 10 of them. Got one of his own misses. Must have really felt he was going to miss that one because he was all over it, right? When he shot it, he, he was the one that had it. So. He knew what number he was on. I don't know about that. But he knew it was short. I know that much because he, he reacted quick to that. Uh, what do you say to your group at halftime given the way they defended? Yeah, you know, it's. um. It's, um, I mean, it, not much, Michael, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I didn't, didn't um, you know, we just looked at some clips and talked about, you know, a bunch of things. I mean, we weren't keeping the ball in front very well. That was, and it was causing a, causing a layup problem, a, a, a back to the big problem, a corner three problem. And we had to adjust, you know, our mindset there of, Squaring up and keeping the ball in front better, um, and that you know that's kind of what I focused on. Um, I think that was really causing all the problems, and and again I didn't want to. I mean I knew we were in for a game there, the way that was going, right, the way where things were going, and and we were going to have to really play, which we did. We did really you know really play in the second half, and um, we we needed to, but um, I don't know. We've been we've been kind of. Just going in and treating those about the same. Show the clips, make some adjustments, and get out there and play a little better. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's. I, I think. I think. I think in like normal times, Michael, you would. But this like doesn't totally shock me, right? We've really been. You know, we've really been hooping, right? We've really been energized. We've really been. You know, and you don't. That just doesn't. That just doesn't stay all the time. And. And, uh, you know, I, th I also thought that, you know, like the empty arena would get to us at some point, you know, energy wise and um, couldn't create our own fun tonight in the first half. So we, we but we did in the second. So no, I'm not totally like in this this kind of time we're in. I'm not like totally shocked by about anything these days. So just kind of really happy we get a W to put after the to the game and see what we can learn. Um, maybe maybe talk about it a bit, but I, I think they know they they were they were talking about it in the huddles and the timeouts and and they were still I thought very encouraging and stayed very positive with each other, which is a good sign. As great as Fred was, could you see the impact that he was having on everybody else? It seemed like once he took it to another level, a bunch of other guys. Could yeah, I mean he was he was trying really early, right? I think I think that. Um, he, he kind of saw what was happening early um, and uh, he was trying kind of vocally and things like that. And I just think that, um, I don't know, he, he was missing a good share of shots himself in the first half, right? And he was trying to kind of get us going and get us going with the scoring and that wasn't quite working either. But then I think once he, once he was um, kind of vocally um, stating his case and then doing it in the in the scoring column at the same time. And I thought again, I always think that when the point guards up there working really hard, the rest of the guys see that that are back there and they kind of start getting ready to to move a little more too. So I think he, he kind of did all parts of it tonight.
not to be a leaguer at the point, Nick, but I imagine that it's you know beneficial that your team can climb back and get this win and have this moment to kind of remember and have moving forward. But is it is it a slippery slope that you don't want to get comfortable being playing from behind like that? <laughs> um, I, don't, I mean, I don't think so. I think that um, you know you certainly don't ever want to get comfortable in that position. I think. Um, but I do, I do say that, um, you know, we, we have, that's, that's a few half times and uh, not, maybe not in a row, but I, again, I thought we were, we were super positive at the half in Milwaukee, even though we just gave up 77 points and we were down nine, but I was, I was kind of like, geez, we are lucky we're here and let's, let's, let's go play now. And, and we did, you know, we really played again in the second half there. Um, yeah, and, and again, I don't know, maybe we've got to get to some adjustments sooner, right? Uh, that's probably a couple games in a row where we went to some pretty drastic adjustments in the second half defensively and totally, totally turned the game around. So maybe we got we got to look at that too. Offensively early on, were guys turning down shots? Like it looked like they were getting to the middle. It was just, weird, right? Yeah. It was, it was uh, one of those things where Again, they were kind of taking their chances with playing, playing, you know, kind of off us, and and uh, guys weren't so, you know, that it's tough. We did, we looked reluctant. Even the ones we took, we looked reluctant. You know, some of them were wide open, and you're not probably going to make many of those. And we didn't, right? Unless you're really confidently stepping into them, and and um, and it's a little tricky, I think, too, with with all the, you know, you you've got to try to. You know when you're when you're having a cold shooting night like that, and it was cold, like you you know you feel it right, and you know you're saying you know we gotta kind of get away from the three and get it in the lane and try to get some cutting, and and it's not that easy when Whiteside's parked at the rim, right, to just drive it in there and make something happen. But we were we were fortunate to start. I think in the second half we started getting to some second side, second actions, third actions, and you know, we were moving them around a little more, which enabled some guys to get inside. One question for you online, Nick. Uh, go ahead, Doug. Hey, Nick, Scott, thanks very much for this. Um, I know Gary banged in a big three there in the fourth quarter. It was a very important shot at a key moment, but he's been, I think, 28% over his last five or six games yep. from three. Are you finding him having a difficult time adjusting to the lineup and the spacing? And what do you attribute that to? Well, I attribute the first couple games to um, a guy that, that was out of rhythm, right, being off the court for a long time. He's, he's – um, you can just tell kind of – kind of – in general, he he's really spending a lot of time before practice. After he's coming in, you know, he he's trying to get his rhythm back a little bit. That I think that'll take care of it, Doug. Again, and he's kind of he's kind of strange a little bit. I think I can't remember, but I mean, we we ran those those were set plays for him, and he hadn't made a shot. Right, we, we ran. I mean, we, we just kind of felt like Gary's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna do it here. We need one from him, and let's let's get him, let's get him one. And we ran, we ran two or three sets for him, and and um, I, I don't know. He's a, he's really a confident guy. I just think I just think Doug, it's uh, him wor working out a rhythm. If you want to kind of pile those last five games together, and I thought you know he certainly had a a good game last game, not so good again tonight, but hit a couple important ones. Thanks so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks, Doug. Thanks so much. Just one thing with Scotty, seemed to, I don't know if it's his hip or is there anything going on with him? Uh, he just banged it. Yep, he just banged it. I think he, I think he left for a minute, didn't he? he, left. he the, came and he came. It was a pretty quick one. He was he was out, and I thought maybe, um, you know, he took off. I thought maybe it looked like he, you know, the the. The hit looked pretty hard to me and that kind of stuff, but he came straight back in and seemed to be fine. Probably be a little sore in the morning, but hopefully he'll be okay.